Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are proving the distributive property geometrically. That's right, we're proving it with shapes, with rectangles in particular. Really cool, it should be a whole lot of fun. So the distributive property, for those of you who don't know, which probably none of you, otherwise I can't imagine you'd click on this video, um, is the rule that tells us, for example, that if we have three multiplied by x plus four, we get 3x plus 12. The distributive property tells us that when we have parentheses around the sum or difference of uh, numbers of quantities and we have a number being multiplied on the outside of those parentheses, it gets multiplied by everything inside. So we do 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 4 which is 12. So how can we prove this geometrically? It's really cool. I think it's a bit insightful and again I think it's pretty neat. So we're going to draw this rectangle, and we're going to have this thing proved uh, in about a minute. We get this beautiful rectangle, doing the best I can. Drawings are not my thing. And then we're going to, let's say, let's say we cut it right here. It doesn't really matter. So let's say the length of this side of the rectangle is A. That means this length, of course, is also A. And let's say we've divided it into two separate lengths, B, which is from here to here, Perhaps I could have uh, color-coded this, but oh well. And then this length from here to here is C. So what is the area of the whole rectangle? Well, we know that it would be the sum of the areas of these two smaller rectangles. Well, the area of this small rectangle is A times B. That's just uh, base times height, B times A, A times B, either one. And then the area of this small rectangle is A times C. Hmm. So now perhaps you see it. So what would the area of the large rectangle be? There's a couple ways we could write it, right? We could write it as the sum of the area of these smaller rectangles, or we could use our base times height formula for the area of a rectangle and just apply that to the whole thing. Well, the length of the base is B plus C, right? It's this length plus this length. So that's B plus C is our base multiplied by our height, which is A, so you can see this is a scenario in which we would need we would need the distributive property and we also know that the area of a rectangle of this rectangle excuse me is AB right here plus AC which is right here and you see how we did that base base times height for the area of this rectangle base times height for the area of this rectangle, you add them up, you get the area of the whole rectangle. And then for this little expression, we have base, which is b plus c, times height, which is a, and we get the truth behind the distributive property, which is a times parentheses b plus c, close parentheses, is equal to ab plus ac. I hope that helped. I hope you thought this was as cool and nifty as I did. I thought it was pretty swanky. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything clarified in the comments. I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I flow. That erases all black It makes sense